AP Calculus AB. This is uh, in preparation for the AP Calculus AB exam. So I'm going to ask you to use implicit differentiation to find an equation to the line tangent at the point 1, 2 to the ellipse. And this is that ellipse right here. So this is some skill I want you to pick up a little bit. That I'm noticing this. Look, read carefully what you're supposed to do. So we're supposed to use implicit differentiation. They're not going to tell you to do that on the, on the AP exam, but they are going to tell you to find an equation of the line tangent to the graph. So what I'd like you to do is just underline that thing that you're supposed to do and just put a box on top of that, and you'll see why in a little while. So here we go. I'm going to implicitly differentiate this by first saying that I'm going to take dy dx of the whole thing. The next thing I'm going to do, if you don't mind, is as I bring this in, x squared over 2 is 1 half x squared, right? And I'm going to take dy dx of that. If it's, if it's not necessary for you, that's fine, but some people, it bothers them to have it look like this. So plus I want to take, oops, sorry, I don't want dy dx. I want d dx, right? Plus d dx of 1 eighth y squared is equal to d dx of 1, right? And then I'm going to start to differentiate here. And we know that this derivative is easy to take. This is going to be 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2, so it's just going to be x. What about this one? So what you have to see here is that we're actually using the chain rule, and the inside function is just y by itself. So using the chain rule, the derivative of the outside function is 2 times 1 eighth, which is 1 fourth, right? Sorry, <laughs> 1 fourth y, isn't it? And then we have to take the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of y is dy dx. OK? And we also know that the first derivative of 1 is 0. OK? Keeping in mind that what we really need is to find, we want to find dy dx so we can, we can evaluate this. So this is the part that we actually want. So to get that part, we need to move stuff over. So I'm just going to add negative x to both sides. And I'm going to put, if you don't mind, I'll put this y over 4. So y force dy dx is equal to negative x. Multiplying both sides, right? We just want this piece in here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 over y times 4 over y. And then, look, we have our dy dx. dy dx is equal to negative 4x over y. This is what they're going to count on you screwing up on the AP exam, is that you're going to stop here. And there, even if it's a multiple choice question, hell, they'll even offer you this as a possible answer. This is, and it's called a, the, the, that kind of answer is called a distractor. But we're supposed to evaluate it at this point, and then we're supposed to find the equation. That's what we said we we're going to do. So we have to evaluate it at the point. So. We had the point 1, 2. I'm going to go ahead and substitute in those values and say that, that dy dx, the, the slope at this particular x and y value, is negative 4 times 1 over 2, otherwise known as negative 2. Right? Going back to the top again, it doesn't ask me for the slope. It asks me for the equation. So we're going to use point slope form. And this is from algebra 1, which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. And I'm just going to fill in the blanks. We have y minus, we up here said y is 2. This is our xy. y is 2, so minus 2. We found out that our slope, dy dx, is negative 2 times x minus our x given x value is 1. And this is a good enough answer. What you may see on the AP exam is your is the writer, the author may have rewrite it a little bit and just move this over and they'll get negative 2 times x minus 1 to move this negative to, edit to both sides and we get this. I suggested to my class today and I suggested to you that you're careful that you try to figure out what the possible answers are on the multiple choice part. Don't go before you go chasing the answer, look at what the possible answers are so you'll at least know what form that you're pursuing. Okay? So, sorry. Here's our answer. Good work. Remember, repetition, 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 and konnichiwa.